Oh boy, this, this is gonna be gonna be fantastic. I already know it. I already know it, man. Hello, Hello. welcome. <laughs> I'll have you hold this. All right, if we can have your name. Uh, my name is Aaron. Aaron. Just man, you see the way he the way he walked. <laughs> He's got some early Mike Tyson energy. <laughs> You know when women just assume you got bad intentions? This is the face they talk yes. about. This is the face that they be seeing when they're walking down the street. They're like, oh, I know he's creeping. This is why they be defensive, because if a motherfucker walks you, you know, he's not here to ask you for directions. Nope. <laughs> you know I'm an old geezer because I look at this man, I'm like, ooh, this man is up to no good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's go. Okay, yes. and what do you do? Uh, I'm a licensed plumber. Oh, very cool. Yes. And now, what do you look for in a- They're not gonna like that. <clears throat> They're definitely gonna be like, ooh, a plumber? Eh. I already know it. Woman. Um, I look like I look for a woman that's not promiscuous and um has a career going for herself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And that that's some pretty normal requirements. Right? Like I want a woman that isn't fucking everyone every dude she sees, and I want someone who actually, you know, has her own money. And actually has her own her life a little bit together, you know? Like that's a pretty reasonable uh what you call it? Requirement. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Uh deal breaker, being promiscuous. <laughs> you already said that, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking What are you looking for? Somebody someone who's attractive and uh, you know, not a criminal. What's some deal breakers? Someone that's someone not who's a ugly guy. and He's a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, he's not wrong. But. Yeah, it's just funny. That's just that those two back to back. Not cleanly. Um, don't have a career or nothing really going for yourself. Okay. All right. So, so we did get a. Bro said what he wanted in a woman, and then his like <laughs> red flag, or not red flags, like the things he didn't, didn't like is literally the opposite of what he wanted. That makes sense. <laughs> Hey, pop balloon. Let's okay. go ahead and go on over there and see what's going on. Yes. Okay, so only one popped a balloon. That's not bad. All right, if we can have your name and I age mean, and why you popped your balloon. Is bro really that tall, though? Is he? I don't think he's that tall, is he? I don't know. I can't really gauge it because, you know, women on average are pretty, like, not, not really tall. So compared to, like, this dude, like, he's definitely, like, jacked, right? But. I don't know if he's tall or not. They pop the balloon basically to say they're not interested. Pop in the balloon property. <laughs> Got you. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. Oh. So, uh, that's okay. So, uh, Thank you. that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, yo, the feeling is definitely mutual. He was also like, yeah, I definitely don't feel you at all. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, imagine turning someone down and he, said, <laughs> and he says that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't say anything either. Let him play. Let him, let him. No, no, there's a nuance. There's a, the, if I say the feeling is mutual, the feeling is mutual. The feeling is definitely mutual. You're trying to get back at someone. I, I, I think mean, you're reading too hard. No, petty. I'm not. All right, let's it's definitely out. petty, but it makes so, sense. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. You did me a favor. You know, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you have a great Thank day. Thank you, Queen. The sarcasm is exploding, bro. <laughs> Look at the fucking faces of these two women in the back. <laughs> oh, yo. They're like, ooh. I can't believe he said that. <laughs> no, <he's... laughs> the, the definitely. It could have been. It could have been. The feeling is mutual. Hey, the feeling is mutual. No hard feelings. Be good. Be good. And then we move on. The definitely. It's there's a nuance. No, am I wrong? Let's just watch. I'm yeah. glad you have a great Thank day. Thank you, Queen. You too. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead. And... All right, we gotta pop oh. over here. Oh, yo. <laughs> I mean, after seeing that, I kind of understand, you know, like, that shit was petty as fuck. If we could have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Tara. I'm 22. Okay. And why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made, uh, didn't really... 
I like a more humble person. That's the one that responds so defensive-ish. Yeah, that's really it. So you want a puppy? I mean, that's okay, right? Some people like, you know, like relationships where they are literally the dominant factor in their, in their relationship, right? So, but like what she essentially says says, I want a puppy that, uh, that's obedient and does everything that I want it to do and doesn't do anything I don't want it to do. Like, don't bark at me. Don't bark back at me. Only obedience. And I mean, that's okay, right? If that, is that what you want? Uh, you're definitely limiting your dating pool by a significant amount, however, but it's definitely possible. Um, but yeah, I, I get it. I kind of get it, you know. He, he, he was kind of, you know, he was kind of petty. And not really an attractive feature, I'm not gonna lie. I would have much rather, if I was in her position or any of these women's position, I would have much rather had, like, someone that said, like, um, oh, that's unfortunate, and that's it, you know? Not, not like, double down or, like, oh, yeah, I didn't fuck with you either, like, you know? It, it's just petty, you know? Just be mature, and that's what... Maybe I said it wrong. She doesn't want a puppy. She just wants someone that's more mature. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That was a little bit... That was a little bit ignorant of me. No, I think she just wants someone that's more, Im more mature, because that was an immature comeback, let's be honest. I, yeah. I didn't really necessarily like that's how you fine. responded. Hey, I could just yeah. all I can do is be honest. I you mean, know? yeah, be honest, I be your authentic self. To, that's okay. To, to, to find a match, sure. that one match, and that's sure. all, I mean, Queen. I hundred percent understand. Yes, yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. And I was, um, she someone that's your type? Um, she all right, you know. Bro, don't even cap. She's gorgeous, bro. Look at her. Don't even cap, my boy. Come on. Come on, bro. You're not really my type. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, disrespectful. You know, but if I see you in public, I wouldn't. You don't have to go all that. Like, you do it a bit too much. You could have said, not necessarily. It's the, it's the extra stuff. All right, listen. People said this. I'm, I'm waiting for it to get flagrant. Let's see. All right. And we did get a pop balloon over here. Your name. I mean, it shows a lot about uh, his character from all these interactions. And I understand why people are popping their balloons. Like, Bro, definitely, I don't know, bro. Not very attractive personality, I'm not gonna lie. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? I'm Lex and I'm 23 and I pop my balloon because I feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful. Like, how you, like, I don't know, arrogant a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Just that. Well, voice in my opinion is not arrogant. You know, true. she asked me if she would be a good fit for me. If I like what I see, you know. That's true. We don't know if, if what he says is essentially always uh, a response to whatever they say or whenever they like uh, reject him. He could just also already had the opinion in mind and he just formulated a little bit like odd, right? But it's kind of, I don't know, I'm not really etching on that part. I feel like if, I, if, if it's like, I don't think scenario B is very likely. I think scenario A, where he's just responding as a petty, petty bitch, is definitely a more likely uh, reason. Oh, uh, it's contrary to the truth. So of course. that's all I can do is just state what I see. I don't, that's not a good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. What does she have on her? knees what kind of tattoos is that like 10 or some shit you you did me a favor as well yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Doing too much, man. he's, no, like, no. he's uh, looking them up and down like, thank you yeah appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> and you know what you, you know what hey, it makes hey, me think of yeah, church yeah queen. it makes me think of church what do you mean where they where they say something super shady but they end it with like a nice word bless yourself yes bless your heart yes Ooh. bless your heart yes mm -hmm. yeah that's what it feels i mean like. <laughs> yes yeah, yes queen it's it's yes, it's, queen. It's, 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 it's i'm glad we're not together yes queen it's respectful disrespect yeah, I think it's just yes. disrespect, but okay. No, it is. It is. No, no. It is. The the end result is disrespect. It, it it's a pile of doo doo mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. covered in gold in a Hallmark card. Still a pile of doo doo. Exactly. I pray for you, Abba. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. What I have to say is, 
It's not what you say. This is what I mean by what I said. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Yes. You could have rephrased a lot of the things that you have been saying to me as well as the other girls differently. But that's all I have to say. But when I mean, that could double for the women. Like, especially the first one. So, like, she was ruthless as well. Like... If you're gonna like argue about how he responds to uh, the rude comments, you gotta admit that the comments that he responded to were rude. And that you don't just have to like take that laying down, essentially, right? One thing about me is I'm not going to change who I am of course. to fit somebody else's liking. You know, I'm just going to tell it how it is. If you're not it, that's not it. You know, cool. the one that is it, I'm going to let it be known. Okay. You know, for sure. Totally yes. Valid. Respectful. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Brianna, 26. My eyes are are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms, you know. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this guy. This guy, he still... Oh, bro. He still got the insecurity of a small man, bro. He's all muscles. He is all, like, jacked and everything. But he's still an insecure little boy. Holy shit. Or... That, this was his inten intention all along. He just came there to roast people. I mean, I honestly can't respect that if he did. If he did that, if that was his whole, like, uh, intentions, I understand it. I, I get it, you know? Honestly. I, I ain't even mad. I think, that, I think that's funny as fuck. Also, I love when Preach just turns to the fucking spider. <laughs> Lang on the plate. Yeah. Where did that come from? That 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 is going crazy. Slack on the plate. That is going oh, crazy. No. If I was already, <laughs> I need my helmet again. Also, oh. uh, just because she's a woman doesn't mean she's not gonna have hair. Like having hair on your arms is completely normal. It's not just a man thing to have hair on your arms. And some some women have a little bit more testosterone, so you have, they have more like colored, uh, thicker hairs, right? Or like, uh, especially like Indians, for example, they have like I don't know some gene that gives them more hair, uh, for both male and female. So I I, I don't know, man. I don't think that's uh, I I think that's a little bit uh, I don't know. You just don't say that shit, you know? Oh my god, this is gonna be a bumpy ride. This shit crazy. Oh my god. That was unnecessary. Oh bro. my <laughs> god. <laughs> my man. Oh my god. My man woke bro, up, went back to helmet. sleep, and woke up. Why is he putting on a helmet? He's like, oh shit, this is gonna be a wild ride. I'm gonna put on my helmet. Woke up again. Oh my god. <laughs> Only to choose violence. If I was like, yo, this dude is a bit on something when he's like, yeah, whatever, you definitely did me a favor. It's definitely mutual. And then he pulls this. Now nah, I'm just looking at the iron on your arm. I'm not surprised if any of the other women now are gonna, are gonna pop the balloon as well. I'm not gonna lie. Um, wow. First degree. Like the murder. hairy Let's arm comment I deal with, they don't have hair on their arms. Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't do queen. too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body parts. You just parts, wasn't looking at my not eyes. What it is. No, I was looking I was at the hair on your Anyways, arms, Anyways, she asked me the question. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm in heels and you ain't tall enough. Okay. Don't do Makes too sense. much. Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. I, that's so that's good. all good. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> uh, do you like how hip hypocrisy works in women too? Like, they are like all simplistic, like, oh, you're not tall enough. And then men have to like make up this ridiculous explanations that are satisfactory for women to accept why they don't like certain women. Like, but whenever uh, women. Say something about why they don't like a man. Oh, not tall enough. Oh, don't have enough money. Oh, they have enough man. Like, bro, <laughs> it's just ironic, to see, you know. 
Good lord, get this man off the stage. Yo, it's getting saltier and saltier by the minute. Yeah. This guy is a bag of pretzel. Dry <laughs> and salty. Eating right, fish, let's, let's yeah, do this shit. <laughs> okay. So None of them actually we do still so have three Nah, you know what? These women are all else. I'm yep. going to say this. Yep. If you just watch a dude who showed up for five seconds get disrespectful and belligerent with women off of so little, imagine what it's going to be like dating that dude. And then you go say like, oh my God, I never saw it coming. No, bitch. You saw it coming. You just didn't care because you thought he was cute. <laughs> and some of you motherfuckers think you could change oh, yeah. somebody. That's why I don't be feeling bad for some people because all the red flags are there that the people they bought today is a piece of shit, yes. but they ignore it. Same with dudes. You see a really hot girl with a popping Instagram and all this other shit going on. They'd be like, oh man, she going to be the one for me. Turn out she's just there for your cheddar. It's like, bro, y'all got to take some accountability. Could have never guessed Three that. Three women kept that. This dude was unnecessary. Yeah, I didn't think the women said anything crazy. The petty. dude tossed out, and I'm like, at first I was like, okay, one off. This dude did, did with every girl. Yeah. How do you think he's gonna react to you when however, things don't go well in your relationship? However, um, <clears throat> getting rejected is a tough ordeal, right? <clears throat> uh, especially if you want to try to like keep on being confident, uh, but you don't want to try to be disrespectful. Uh, it, it it's rather tough to not get disrespectful when people hurt your ego. Like, it, it, it's it's incredibly tough. Shit. And also, the... this guy already has a fragile ego to begin with. Because, like, look at him, bro. Like, he's all, like, buffed and jacked up, but he re reacts like that. Like, I don't know, bro. If I was the size of him, right? Like, obviously, like, I, I don't have the, that much size, <laughs> right? Um, but if I had his size, bro... Uh, I'm already way more confident than this guy is. But imagine if I had that much uh, that much size, bro. I would be even more confident than than I am right now. I think, or maybe not. I don't know. Can I get more confident than this? I don't know. Probably, or not. I don't know. Like two years ago, I would have never dreamed of like cutting up my beard. I was like, nah, we're not doing that, bro. We're not doing that. Um, and I just tried it, like because you know, fuck it, why not? <laughs> so camera's not there and you guys are alone yep that's the real lesson all this situation. the real l isn't even him it's the three women who didn't pop their balloons yep but and i wonder what their real like um reasons is to not be popping the balloon because they definitely see some green flags and ignore all the fucking red flags on this guy 100 percent Anyways, yeah, let's keep watching. But she looking like you gonna pop? Okay. Yep, there you go. Okay. Yep. The two, two women. My bad. My bad. Girl in pink. W. Shout out to you. You walked away from the ledge. W. Girl in blue look like she thinking about it. The girl in the black thinks she, she might go all the way. She not even holding the pin. Mm. She like what she see. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I popped because I have hair on my arms. Oh no! <laughs> My girl is hot. Hey, let's go. <laughs> hey, just because you got hair on your arms, that's okay, though, Queen. You look phenomenal. <laughs> Hypocrisy is real. Oh, the hypocrisy is real. Oh, that's oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so much. No, no, that just proves that he wasn't actually mad about the hair on the arms. He was just salty because the girl gave him the test. His girl's like, "Why are you looking at my titties?" And he's like, "Oh, let me just roast her." Yo, this guy is yo. Wow. You know she ain't Don't fit to my liking. She ain't even fit to. My... Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm I'm talking to this woman right here. Look this way. Oh well, I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I mean, you can tell she got a way more gentle personality than her. She is really really like argumentative and like really dominant and she's like more you know she looks she seems more of a submission type uh submission not submission submissive type of girl you know she would like you know be nice to you and all that you know and well um as far as most men think we just want someone to be nice to us whoa you know <laughs> A hot take, I guess, you know, but uh, most men don't want women to be mad and like nagging them.
like, I don't know why people don't really understand that whole thing about that man just wants someone that they can love and like cherish and like hug and be be nice with, you know? Not nothing like oh I want a want a want a woman that constantly shit talking me and like like sure she I would like a woman that can like help you do hold me accountable to stuff right that's definitely something I, I I would like definitely um definitely want but on the other side I want I want you know I want like they they should have both sides you know I want someone to be responsible but on the other side I also want to be you know really sweet and nice. And I feel like she got that, like, personality. Also, she doesn't seem this bright. I... I don't know. Just an assumption. I don't know. It's, just, it's a look in her eyes. The look in her eyes just seems like she's, like... I don't know. <laughs> she, she, I feel like if you ask her what, like, uh, how, how a wheel works, she would, like, not, uh, not, uh, not even try to attempt to, to, like, tell you how it works. I could look anywhere I want to, you know, but yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back though? She don't want it. Yeah, do you want your balloon back, queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. You, you already been, I already let you know, I'm not interested in, you got more hair on your arms than me, baby. <laughs> oh no, bro. I mean... For the video, this guy's entertaining as shit. But holy shit! <laughs> oh nah, this this is a typical like example of um good men versus nice guys, bro. Because he can be a nice guy, right? But being a good man, uh, I mean, bro. She clearly stepped on his toes and he, and he did not fuck with that whatsoever. So now he's he's petty and like straight up like <laughs> roasting her. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair, she keeps like interrupting her, his conversation and all that, right? Like she's not supposed to be in this conversation anymore at all. Like I think these women should have just left the moment they popped their balloon. That, that might have been a, be a lot better, but... Who knows? It's 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 more content, right? <laughs> it's more content for the video for sure. But uh, anyways. Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but how do you feel with him? Um, I'm not gonna get my balloon back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what was his reaction? He was disappointed, bro. Like you heard this, like okay, he's like so disappointed, bro. Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but how do you feel with him? Um, I'm not gonna get my balloon back. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. what was his reaction? Okay. <laughs> he is so sad after that, bro. Uh, uh, yo. So we do still have uh, two balloons. Yes. Do we still have two balloons? No. Oh. <laughs> Let's go over here. That I saw you so hesitate. That's why I had bro. to ask. So if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being, I guess, arrogant. Mm -hmm. But to me, I like my man that's not going to sit in every girl's face and, you know, complimenting them, you know. Mm -hmm. So I didn't find that offensive to me. But when they started that, what was going on, I'm very like, I'm, I don't want to say I'm argumentative, but I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I. <laughs> okay. I t remember when I said that this other woman wants her puppy she wants her puppy all right she definitely wants a fucking puppy bro i feel like it's gonna always be a problem that was the only reason why i popped my balloon it's like you're having an argument with someone but instead of like having an argument only one person is talking and the other one is just listening and like nodding and like listening and nodding and listening and maybe saying yeah you're right you're right like a cheerleader almost. That's a weird concept. I don't man. want my man to argue back with me. Imagine if a man said that, by the way. Imagine if a man said, I don't want my woman to argue back. To me. Oh my days, bro. <laughs> the riots that would start on Twitter. Oh my days. <laughs> Yuck. What is that? 
Yeah, what, it's what, what, what I hate about that? It's, it's, um, because it means that there's no ground. It kind of the, the subtext of that is that she's always right. You understand yep. what I'm saying? It, you don't want someone to argue with you. Sometimes you're gonna. And be- she she'd be the same. She'd be the same woman that says, "I don't want to parent my partner." I hundred percent guarantee that. Hundred percent. Wrong. We're gonna have to discuss it. The, the, the final we maybe. It's a bad choice of words, but there's a difference between arguing and bickering. That was bickering. That was not arguing, okay? Like the argument, whenever you have an argument and you go back and forth. It sounds like she toxic and she don't want somebody to be on her level. That's what it sounds like to me. That sounds almost correct. I think yeah. it's a bad choice of words, so. I mean, yeah, I can only go based but, on what but, she but said. We could, yeah. mm-hmm. um, But then with me, you kind of got a little bit... Caddy with me, you a little sassy just a little bit. And since you want to come at everybody over here, I'm going to get at you too. You kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not that cute. Bro. <laughs> no, bro. Bro. <laughs> what the hell? Nah, listen, bro. Nah. <laughs> wow. A ninja turtle. Wow, okay. I gotta give points for creativity there. What the fuck? You. You're not that cute. Whoa! Hey, yo! Fa, 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 fa! She said it and I she seen did. it. She said it and I seen it. Okay, she's not that. Bro. She, 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 she's like. I mean, Ninja Turtles are buff as hell, so I would go. I would give. Personally, I would take it as a compliment. Like, let's be honest. If you're doing that, I'ma roast you. Whoa. <laughs> he kind of looked like a Ninja Turtle, though. Mikey. Mm-hmm. Bagawabunga, dude. Yeah, the dumb yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. She said Ninja Turtle. That's cool. I bet he smiles like this. <laughs> Yo, she said that shit and it killed me. Yeah, well, uh, hey, go for it, girl. You, you need to relax. Uh, you stocky as hell. And I was trying to be respectful, okay, but yeah. like you was, you was really coming out. Like I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm from the south, and I can okay. handle like. They must have edited out whatever he said to her. Yes, has to be. because he didn't go at her. But he did. For it real. just there was a didn't cut. See it. Yeah, there it was, was a cut. There was a yeah. cut. But I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I feel like it's gonna always be a problem That was the only reason why I popped my balloon because I was just like dang um, But then with me you got see got- yay So they cut some shit out they cut some shit out. I want to hear what this motherfucker said for her to react like this I didn't I didn't like it. I'm from the south and I can okay. handle like a lot of Criticism and stuff like yeah. that, but the way you was coming you just ain't like you got it all like that And I guarantee you probably got a roommate at home and it's just not giving anymore yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real estate and property down, management. I live downtown. So what I live downtown. I stay by myself, Queen. You know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing with me. You say everybody not qualified. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, he just keeps being petty as fuck, man. I mean, to be fair, if he stopped being petty right now, it would seem like he's weak. Let's be honest, he would seem like he's weak and he got dominated by these women's, uh, all these arguments. So I, I get that he doesn't, that he doubles down and all that, but come on, bro. What, what is that assumption? Oh, I bet you have a roommate. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Crazy. But, uh, she definitely doesn't understand how much a plumber fucking makes, bro. <laughs> that line is getting kind of old. She's not. Tim, you definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one my that type. You wanted, if I seen, you, uh, that's fine. So that, that, that's is totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull a hundred thousand on the bank. Can you do the same? Get this yeah, you can't do that. Bro, ah! <laughs> <laughs> let's go band for band, bro. I could pull a thousand out of the bank right fucking now. Can you do that? <laughs> I don't know if he really got that amount of storage, but holy shit, if he does, that's a really good comeback. <laughs> when she said, get this man out of here, she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, like, <laughs> you can always tell somebody's a loser based on how they react to a rejection. Yes. 
if you gotta floss your money, yes. your car, your yes. place after a girl says no, you already lost. Yes. And it's like that old adage says, right? When you see fight with a pig, to everyone who's looking outside, it looks like two pigs fighting in the mud. And the pig enjoys it. Right? It's just, you never gonna win this in the actual grand scheme of things. You're just True. doing it because your ego a little bit busted. Is it good entertainment? It'll, absolutely. absolutely yeah. But if, would I, busted. would I recommend anybody do this? Absolutely not. <laughs> you, don't, you don't gain anything from this. You look less attractive to all the women looking, and for good reason, because yep. you look like you're a softie. Yep. And secondly, you just embarrass yourself on a public platform for the world to see. All right, if we can have your name. Now everyone's going to come across this guy that he wants to date or like, I don't know, some fucking dating site or whatever. And they're like, oh shit, that's that dude from that uh, one YouTube video where he got, uh, got rejected by all these women and he was petty as fuck. I'm definitely not swiping right on him, you know? Like, he already, re he already like destroyed his dating pool with just being on this video and acting like this. All right, let's see if this woman is actually uh, still down. I bet she's gonna pop, just you know, for a dramatic effect. I'm in age. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 23. Okay, and Esther, uh, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Are you done? Oh yeah, I'm done with the rest of that. Okay. You know. Okay, now we can talk, right? In a real way. Okay. What do you look for? I look. What for are you looking for? A, a woman, like I said, that's not going to be promiscuous. A woman that's going to be consistent. A woman that has a career and things going for herself. Because I had the same. I just realized he has fucking. Look at his shoes, bro. Do, do you see his shoes? I don't know what the. A the woman brand that has is, a career and things going that for herself. Because I had the same thing going for myself. I feel like if you wear expensive looking clothes, you're not really that rich. Um, because if you really are that rich, you wouldn't be. Uh, wearing like hype beast, uh, shit, like Gucci, like uh, fucking. I don't even know the fucking brands because I I think all their fucking clothes and all their products are fucking trash and all overpriced garbage, anyways. And most of it doesn't even look good. And people just wear it because they want to. It's like with people that have like, iPhones, bro. Most people buy an iPhone because they want an iPhone. Because if they want a good fucking phone they can get that anywhere else they can take any other android device but they just want an iphone because iphone got like a certain image and a certain uh persona that uh, uh create or like a not a not a persona a um certain um image that like uh people that have iphones have right Myself, okay. You know as well. I don't need a woman to uh, give me her money um, or anything. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty. That's all, and some honesty. Do you believe in God? Oh, certainly. Yes, ma'am. I'm a God fearing man. I practice monotheism. You know, I won't tell you what. I the what now? Monotheism. Hold on. Monotheism. identify is religion wise but we can get to that Hello? at a later want... date and time okay. you know yes. if you choose to uh Hello? leave here with me okay do you know the bible says that love is kind what is yes up I identify is fucking... religion wise stop it's a career and things going for herself because i had the same thing going for myself okay you know as well i don't need a woman to uh give me her Let money me um, or anything. Again. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty. That's all. And some honesty. Do you yeah. believe in God? Oh, certainly. Yes, ma'am. I'm a God-fearing man. I practice I, monotheism. I clicked on the video. You know, I won't tell you it's what just, I identify. It's not pausing. Okay, there we go. Monotheism. Mon... Mon... It's monotheism. Monotheism. You know, I won't... Monothe meaning of monotheism in English. Someone who believes that there is only one God. Jews, Christians, and Muslims are all monotheism. So you're just either Muslim, Christian, or Jewish. <laughs> Bro said that like it's some big deal, but most people that are religious <laughs> are fucking <laughs> monotheism. It's just a lot of people just don't even know what the term means, so it sounds like he's actually saying something while well, he's literally saying nothing at all. Crazy, bro. I won't tell you what I identify is religion wise, but we can get to that at a later date and time, you we know, can. if you choose to uh, 
leave here with me. Okay. Do you know the Bible says that love is kind? Yes, certainly. Or are you here to just insult I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a family, you know, okay. that's what I aspire to do. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. I mean, let's be honest, she's probably just looking for a one night stand. You're good? Sure, we're good. Oh, okay. All right. Any questions for her? No, not at all. Oh. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Do you want kids? I do. How you gonna give you me again? son? Huh? How old are you? Thirty. Bruh, come on. Come on. Really? Questions for her? No, not at all. Oh. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Do you want kids? I do. You How gonna give you me again? son? Huh? Huh? Uh. This is a personal gripe of me, bro. Because when people that like do that shit, like I don't know, man. Like if I if I'm like a friend of yours or some shit, you can do whatever the fuck. I don't really care. But like if I don't know you and like I first met this person, right? And they go like, huh? Like, bro, what? Who the fuck you think you are, bro? Like, be a little bit more respectful than huh? Like, at least say what do you say or like, excuse me, can you repeat that? You know, like be a little bit more respectful, like. Just like making noises. I'm not a fucking dog, bro. Like, I'm a human. Treat me as one. To your dog, you make noises to your dog. You don't make noises to, to uh, fellow human beings, man. How old are you? 35. Damn, that's quite old. This nigga looks like he's 35 going on 45. Yes. What's your, what's your age? He looks like 45? No, he doesn't look five. I mean, his hairline is quite good, but you can never really say a lot about that from someone's age. Uh, he definitely gone, got tattoos for a long time because they are really uh, all like scrubbed out. I don't know. I mean, uh, 30, 35 is a good assessment, maybe 30. Something like that. How old are you? 35. This nigga looks like he's 35 going on 45. Yes. What's your, what's your age? He looks like... Yeah. What age? Uh, he is uh, 33. I think should have gone for 38. How old are you? I'm 29. Yeah! Ooh, nice, nice, nice. I said it, bro. 30, 35. I agree with that. 29, yeah. Makes sense. Oh, my God! Damn, I look again. younger than you. I'm 42. Apparently, black do crack. That shit is crazy. <laughs> that shit is crazy. I, uh, apparently, black do crack. Oh my god. Am I missing something? I mean, he doesn't look that old. Like he got, he barely got any wrinkles. I mean, sure, he got like the wrinkles on his forehead, but that's just because he's always like looking like this. Cause he probably got the same problem as me that he has to like, up uh, like. Put up her his uh, like eyebrows, otherwise his eyes look like this. You know, it, it doesn't really look like inviting. So he has like having to raise it to like look a little bit more inviting. But he doesn't look that old. Or I'm just bad at guessing ages. Could be me. It's. Okay. What are you? I'm 29. Yeah! Oh my god! Ooh, apparently, black do crack. That shit is crazy. <laughs> That shit is crazy. I, uh, apparently, black do crack. Oh my god! How many wigs you got? Hey, you know what? We invested. We invested. We invested. If that man's 28, then baby, I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud, and I'm gonna stay proud. God damn! All of <laughs> what is this? Oh, what the fuck, bro? This this shit out of context. <laughs> oh, this shit is out, bro. Imagine you see this out of context. <laughs> oh. Love is love, all ages age. This is a new look right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. So this is definitely gonna get pictured out of context. I don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Relax. Take it easy. 
I don't give a shit. That is crazy. Man said 29. <laughs> Yo. Crazy. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. You know, we might as well get up out of here right now. All right, well, let me let, let's yeah. step on over here. Let's step on. Step that way real quick for me. Step that okay. way. All these girls are looking at her like, honey. No, nah, what are you doing? That they probably singing that Tony Braxton song to themselves. Mm. He wasn't man enough for me. No, what are you doing? Why you got to be with that dusty? That's what they think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it seems like there's a little vibe here. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? God says save souls. So, yeah. Oh, hell yes. Safe souls. Oh, she's definitely gonna try to change him. <laughs> yeah, she's the I can fix him kind of girl, man. Oh no. That's for okay, me. we yeah, got yeah, a mess. Right. <laughs> All right, let me take this mic. And Big clapping line. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> See you on the first 48. <laughs> <laughs> All this clout chasing got me fired from work. Man, I really love plumbing and my good, and I'm good. Wait, he got fired for this? What? He got fired for this? That it, and they got that taken from me. Y'all are sick. They called the company 500 X, 500 X's? Times. Oh, 500 times. My bad. 500 times and are messing up business. Well, you're a certain. That's insane. Uh, I think that is insane. I think this should be punishable. I don't think going on a show like this uh, should like equate you to being fired from your job. That shit is insane to me, bro. That's that's quite literally that should be illegal. Cause frankly, out outside of you do what you do outside of your job has nothing and I mean nothing to do with uh oops certified with your job. Alright? If you unless you do like some crime shit, alright, I understand. If like he turns out to be like some fucking I don't know, uh I don't know, some thief or, you know, he stole something, okay, you know, something, right? Like something, uh, not even that valuable, but like, he just stole something, right? He, he turns out to be a thief, he, like, he, go, he goes to one of uh, his clients and he stole something out of their house. You know, understandably so, he would get punished and get, lose his job. But losing your job for just Get going on this like silly little dating show. That's insane. Freedom of speech is truly dead. I swear to God. A plumber, you don't need to work for a company. You can work for yourself. Hey, listen, man. You a fool for having a job and going on what is essentially the modern day version of national television and making a fool out of yourself. Yeah, it's going to reflect on your job. You can't go to places and be incredibly disrespectful because guess what? When people find out you work at a specific spot, they're like, I don't want to do business with that person. I'm not advocating that people are going to call this shit, but I'm like, bro, even when I was 21 and I was working at GP Morgan, I knew I couldn't do certain things online. I used to hide my Facebook. I used to hide certain things about myself so people couldn't find it. Like They tell you. I, I just don't understand people who got real professional jobs go on these platforms act crazy disrespectful and flagrant with people where it goes viral, very likely to, and then get shocked when it has real world repercussions. But hey, I'm not saying I advocate for this man getting fired. I'm just saying I'm not surprised. This is things that happen all the time and they've been happening. Yeah, but I don't think it's, it's, it should not be legal. Like, it's not like he committed a crime. It's not like he's a fucking, uh, fucking horrible person. I think it's a little bit too far, but that's just me. Happened for a long time. Mm -hmm. So you would think today, with all the information people have, they would think before losing their job. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's like that TikTok doctor, the plastic surgeon who was too busy filming TikToks and lost her medical license. Like, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Jesus, it's like a professional code of conduct. Folks are gonna protect their business interest. Yeah, that's, that's what it comes down true. to. That's Anything true. else? No. Good lord, being that disrespectful is just unnecessary. Just work on your ego. I mean, look at this fucking Instagram name. Barry with double Y 
underscore handsome. Like, he got a huge ego, or at least he pretends to have a huge ego. Uh, but he, he clearly isn't. He clearly is really, like, a really, like, insecure little boy. Um, he could definitely mature a lot more. And, uh, I don't know. He, uh, honestly, this was a pretty humbling experience for him, I, I bet. I think they gave me an end. The definitely... Why definitely? He not arguing for sport. He arguing out of need. That's what's yep. really just like, like you know, some dudes banter with ladies because they think it's funny. That's fine. Like you can see it. This dude really butt hurt about these rejections, feeling the need to like get back at everyone who said no. It just makes you seem more small than you actually are, and that's tough for a dude that big. That's all. Ninja Turtle killed me though. And you know what? You want to get back at these ladies? Just, just acting different. That's always gonna be the number one thing you can do. Nah, you just have to cowabunga, dude. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of pizza. But her, that means they won. One hundred percent. And then when you both get butt hurt, that means y'all both lost. Yep. 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 Ah, oh well, it is what it is. Um. Yeah, it was clearly not a good, uh, a good thing that he did. Uh, now I don't think he should have lost his job, obviously from this, but I mean, it is kind of understandable that he lost his job from it. But I don't know, bro. Like, if you can get your, if you can get fired from like being a plumber. For doing some silly little YouTube dating video, like, come on, bro, come on. That's just a little bit too insane to me. That's just a little bit too much.